take a listen. Now, Governor, the Gibson and the Cork interview struck many as sort of pop quizzes designed to embarrass you as opposed to interviews. Do you share that opinion? Well, you know, I have a degree in journalism also, so it, it surprises me that so much has changed since I received uh, my education in journalistic ethics all those years ago. But I'm not going to pick a fight with those who buy ink by the barrel full. I'm going to, you know, take those shots and those pop quizzes and just say, it, it, that's okay, those are good testing grounds. And, you know, they, they can continue on in that mode. That's good. That makes somebody work even harder. It makes somebody uh, be even clearer and more articulate in their position. So really, I, I don't fight it. I'll invite it. And we're just getting this in, a picture of Governor Palin preparing for her Thursday night vice presidential debate. Uh, there you see it right there. I don't know. Who is that on the other? It's like Todd. I don't, I don't know. What if they're debating? We continue with, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> we continue now with our panel. Nina, you know, I look at this, for example. I look at the radical associations of Barack Obama, Reverend Wright, <laughs> Flager. We got William Ayers. You know, Saul Alinsky, Rules for Radicals. Very little, little scrutiny or follow-up by the mainstream media. And here's Governor Palin, the most, the most scrutinized woman in the world. And I'm asking, do you think the, the coverage has been fair as it relates to the two of them? So, Sean, you, you're telling me that you think that uh, Barack Obama's moving ahead in the polls now is all the media's fault. I didn't, I didn't, is that what I, you're saying? No, I'm saying that we have Obama media. I mean, I, I'm I, saying journalism is dead, Nina. I'll take it a step further. I'm saying they haven't done their job in this election campaign. And I'm asking I you if, if they're going to ask more questions me, about Bristol yeah. Palin than they will about Bill Ayers. I think we've got a problem, don't you? Do you think Katie Couric was off the reservation? Did not answer my question. Straightforward. No, but no, really, Sean, just listen to what I have to say. I mean, do you think that, that Katie Couric's interview, which was extremely straightforward, was not gotcha? Was that, you know, not journalism? She wasn't doing her job? I mean, I mean I'll I ask it a different way. Sort of, maybe, you'll, maybe, you'll yeah. come, maybe you'll get it. This is a simple question. Do you think Sean, that it's Hang on a second. Just back up. Hang okay. on a second. If he's friends okay. with a guy that bombed the Pentagon, the Capitol, New York City Police Headquarters, sits on boards with him and gives speeches with him, and has only been asked the question, as far as I know, two times, do you think that's legitimate journalism? Sean, I am the first that's person a yes to or no. cry. Well, no, I'm the first person to cry bias over the press all the time. I wrote a book because of bias in the press against conservatives. But in this case, when you're talking about Sarah Palin, who is, you know, a heartbeat away from being a president with a 72-year-old president, she's the president, vice president. He's I think the president, it is and he's friends. He's friendly by his own Katie. admission with a Sean, guy that bombed the Pentagon. Sean, for Katie Couric to ask questions, which she stumbled on, is something for voters to take into account. I don't see what that right, John is. Case that it on. I, I, let me, let me say shot. something here. I don't think there's any doubt that the elite media has hammered Sarah Palin since the moment she was picked. Oh, come on. She, we, we, we sat together during that convention, and we had a debate. How's she going to do? She delivered a great speech, and she put one to the elite media. Uh, Obama, I, I thought tell you said about Obama was going to give a speech. The more, hey, let me tell you, the more they attack her, the more Chris women are going to stick up for her. Short time. The issue here, Chris, is that Barack Obama has been vetted by the media by, for 17 months. They've asked every question. He's answered they have those, not. Excuse me. He's answered those questions. He's got, we've gone over it on this show a number of times. We didn't know who Sarah Palin was. Chris, the media is doing the job that John McCain's vetters did not do to bring out information to the American public about someone we never heard of for the most part until a few weeks ago. That's the media's job, isn't it, Chris? Uh, I would say that, just to Congressman Kasich's point, I, I'm not convinced that bashing the media on either side is a way to win this election. I think it is certainly a way, it, it was, has long been a way to rally the Republican base. I think it's developing as a way to rally the Democratic base against the media. I'm not convinced we're 35 days yeah. away. If you're a partisan, most partisans have sort of chosen their side. I'm not convinced that voters follow yeah. this processy kind of story about is the media treating fairly or not, especially at a time when the Dow dropped 778 uh, points yesterday? I think they want both the presidential and the vice presidential candidates to talk more about issues. In right. her defense, she did I talk agree with about Chris. She did. She, right. Well, let me, let me get John in here. John, in she's her, got, in her she's defense. She's got to appeal to independence. I, I, and I think, John, she answered the question. We just played the clip very well. She said, I'm not blaming the media. I was a journalism major. I, I invite it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to, 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 to answer those so, questions. Alan, uh, Celinda, Lake, the, Celinda Lake, the Democratic pollster, worked against Sarah Palin, and she said Sarah Palin is a smart woman. 
I told you she was going to make a great speech at the convention. I'm going to predict to you she's going to do a very fine job on Thursday night. Well, Look, there's new exposure to the media, the national media. It's tough. But the bottom line is you'll see how she'll perform. Well, you know, expect she'll, expectations she'll are so low that they'll lower the low expectations Alan, game. Go ahead. Ellen, I'll give, I'll give uh, Governor Palin one thing, is she does have a degree in journalism, which is one up on me. I have a degree in English. So, you know, I'm... All right, there you go. <laughs> and you've spoken very well tonight. Thank you all very much for being with us. Coming up, kids singing for change. We're going to tell you all about it. That is coming up next on Hannity and Thompson.